Bianca is going to start off this hour in California. Hi, Bianca. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. How can Anthony and I help today? Hi, guys. Thank you so much for talking with me. We definitely need your advice. Uh, my husband and I are about to be done with baby step three, and we Yay! have three big life things. That feels yeah. pretty good in the middle of all this mess, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It feels wonderful. Great timing. Um, <laughs> we have three big life things we want to accomplish, and we don't know where to start or what to put first. So we have four kids currently who are all going to be in college soon. One is already in her first year in college, and the other three are triplets who are all going to be in college in about two years. Ooh. Ouch! Um, yeah. Um, we also want to have another baby, but we need to move out of the house we're living in to do that. Um, we're 32 and 44, so the sooner the better. And um, the third thing is we want to move on to a baby step 3B and save a down payment for a house. We live in the Bay Area, and a modest house in our area, like a three-bedroom house, is five to six hundred thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. And, so and, and what do you? Start. What is the home you're living in worth? Um, it, we are rented. Oh, it's a really, oh. really old house. We have great rent because my husband's been here for a long time. Yeah. So to move to the same type of house in our neighborhood would be fifteen hundred dollars more per month. So we've Gotcha. We've stayed here, even though it's a really old house. Okay, you're 32? Mm-hmm. When you're 42, if you could only have done one of these three things, what would it be? Um, I would like to have another baby. Okay. Well, the good news is there's plenty of room in this rental house because the rest of them's leaving for college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not for another two years. <laughs> that's funny they're coming though right they're i mean it's, it, there's gonna be okay i mean d- and one's already gone right yeah okay yeah. so th- there's room opening up every day yeah. you know and uh so uh and, and if i'm you my second one is i want these kids the, these older kids to go to school debt free yes right and then my third goal would be buy a house yeah okay if it was me i would have had that that would be my order but you get to decide your order i don't care it's your order mm-hmm. But here's the thing. When you try to do everything at once and you justify it emotionally, you're about to go into debt for yeah. one of them yeah. or two mm-hmm. of them or all three of them because everything you mentioned is, is has a, has a nobility to it, yeah. home ownership, college education, new babies, so on. So the ones going to school are not yours. No, they're my stepchildren. Okay. All right. I suddenly did the math, and it just occurred to me. You didn't have them when you were 12. Okay. All right. Um, Hopefully. Yeah. All right. So, uh, all right. Good. So, I mean, that makes it a little harder, a a tiny little bit harder for you. How long have you uh, been their stepmom? I've been married for two years, and we've been together for six years. Okay. All right. So, two years though you've been super heavily invested um and so th- they're your children you love them yeah. you care about them but uh it, it you know some of these other things are probably if if i if a normal human were doing this they they you know you having your own child uh that that you get pregnant and you deliver the baby is a huge priority to you maybe more than his kids going to college kind of thing that makes mm-hmm. sense, by the way. That's what I would do. That's how I would mm-hmm. be thinking. And it doesn't mean you don't care about them, and it doesn't mean you're not putting them ahead of your own wants or you're being selfish or something like that. Yeah. That was not what I was saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, I, here's the thing. You can do anything if you line it up and say, I'm not doing the other one until I can do the other one. And you just say, mm-hmm. that means you're probably not buying this house for maybe five, six years. Okay, and my my husband really wants a house. That's his like pride and joy. He feels really that's fine. sadly about himself that we live in such a you know kind of crappy place. That's and fine. I he mean, he can he can want that, but does but my only question then is, like I said before, Anthony, yeah, what do you want more? Exactly. 
Well, what are the priorities? You know, for both of you all, I would sit down and have a conversation and say, babe, this is where I'm at. Then allow him to say, babe, where this is where I'm at. And something that Dave said earlier on in the show, he said, both of you all got to have peace and, and got to agree with it. And then here's what I would do if I was married. I would actually, once we come to peace with whatever that is, we're going to write it down. Yep. All right. Oh, this is good. number one. Then this is number two. Then this is number three. So this way we're not being distracted by other things. We're going down that priority list. But as a, single man that would be my suggestion um just to get the priorities written down and both of you all be at peace with it yeah that's good because i I tell you we had an argument one time it wasn't nearly as noble as what you're doing my wife had been driving one of those old blue astro vans you remember those two-tone blue astro vans (laughs) i do trashy thing yes and uh, she'd been driving that thing had eight hundred thousand miles on it felt like and I needed to do some stuff at the office, and she wanted to upgrade the car to a better used car. We yeah. had an argument about which one went first. <laughs> and as we talked about it, she was actually right. She did. She needed to move up out of that crappy car. Yes. So we did that first. Then we did the office thing. There you go. Uh, you do them both, just which order? Yes, sir.